Super Mario Odyssey, a return to the open-ended and exploration-based gameplay last seen in Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Sunshine. But as always, what cut content does this game have to offer? Hello and welcome to the Cut Content Of, the show where we try to find content that you aren't able to see in some amazing games. Today we're looking at the brand new game for Nintendo Switch, featuring this red and blue plumber, Super Mario Odyssey. The game has been in development for nearly four years, with the development starting as soon as Super Mario 3D World released in November of 2013. Almost three years into development, and one year before the game's release, the first footage of the game was unveiled, along with the Nintendo Switch itself. Please bear in mind that this video is releasing the day before the game, before you comment about something we may have got wrong. Even though we only see the Sand Kingdom in this shaky footage, a few differences can be spotted between this version and the final game. The first scene shows the opening to the Sand Kingdom, with absolutely no heads-up display visible. This may have been because it wasn't finished yet, or because Nintendo didn't want to spoil that this was a real game. The ice encasing the rocket on this building is missing. Also missing is the checkpoint flag in the centre. The three Toasterinans near the flag are all blue in the final game, but in the trailer, one is missing, one is green, and the other is purple. We're not sure whether the purple one even appears in the final game. Somewhat surprisingly, the crazy cap store is there in the trailer, even though there is no reference to Cappy. However, the yellow and purple stack of hats is missing in this trailer. Bowser's wedding poster is not visible in this trailer. The moon in the background has been rotated roughly 90 degrees and the final version had its texture changed very slightly. The power moon in this building is actually visible in the trailer. Some very minor alterations include the size and shape of this cactus, the colours and model of this small signpost next to the bench. I meant it when I said minor. There is no flower pot next to this flower, and more icicles have been added to this wire. The second scene also takes place in the Sand Kingdom, but doesn't have as many differences. The ones which do appear are all of the ice spikes seen here were removed in the final game. The Bullet Bill Cannon's animation seem to be slightly more subtle in the final game. The trailer lacks the black signpost inside of the quicksand, and there is no line for the path of the moving platform in the trailer. Three months after this trailer was posted, the Nintendo Switch presentation took place and revealed loads of new details about the game. The first trailer shown here has some differences that are quite small, but first let's look at the logo. You may not notice these small changes at first, but when you notice them, you can't unsee them. Starting off with a more obvious difference. The letters in the title each have a slightly more rounded front in the final version. Secondly, the globe has been made slightly darker, with more of a shadow on it. The letters are also now slightly more reflective. Speaking of reflections, you may remember the hidden message in the logo for Super Mario Galaxy, which you could see by only reading the letters with sparkles on them. The old logo for Super Mario Odyssey would spell out this new message when reading the letters with sparkles. But now all letters have one. The red tail-like shape goes further back in the new version of the logo. The Cat Kingdom has been added to the globe. And finally, Cappy's eyes have been given slightly more detail in the final image. Also, you may have noticed one image on the box art was changed. The bottom left image shows Mario wearing a sombrero in the preliminary version, but shows him swimming around underwater in the final version. Another change that many people didn't seem to notice is the slight movement of the central images. This trailer shows some small clips from the opening cutscene of the game, but stay tuned as we've got more on that later. In the scene where the camera points through the window of the Odyssey as it flies by, we only see Mario up against the glass. The final version shows Cappy in his original form floating next to Mario as they both look through the glass. This wall has some form of graffiti on it in the final game. It's hard to see if Mayor Pauline is standing outside of the town hall, but there definitely is a woman standing still and facing towards the door, albeit in the same monochrome clothing as everyone else. This man's walk cycle is very rough, possibly only because this is from a distance, and... Oh, it seems that Pauline has no collision either. That doesn't look right at all. Eventually, E3 2017 happened, and it did not disappoint. The first vocal song in a Mario game was revealed, and some new footage was also shown, focusing on the capture mechanic. We also saw more of the opening cutscene, but again, more on that later. When Cappy turns into Mario's hat in this trailer, he spins slightly less than in the final version. In this trailer, when Mario flings his hat towards the frog, Cappy's eyes aren't visible. But in this scene in the final version, his eyes are showing, and the cap actually comes back to Mario. There was a build of the game playable for the first time ever at E3 2017. The most notable difference between this version and the final game is the heads-up display. The final version's HUD is slightly smaller and has a compass underneath the life meter. The final version's coin meter is slightly tilted and has circles for each power moon. All animations stayed the same but were just tilted slightly towards the left. The Bowser and Peach wedding poster was changed between E3 and the final version of the game. The final version makes Bowser grip Princess Peach less tightly than the earlier version. The final version shows Peach wearing tiara on her head instead of a tiara. 
She also has a slightly less scared facial expression and her arms are crossed. Bowser's main body is not as different as Peach's, apart from having slightly longer hair in the final version. There are two versions of the opening cutscene. Lots of visual polish was given to the character models after E3. Not only this, but when Princess Peach calls Mario's name in the pre-E3 version, the game uses the exact same sound effect used in Super Mario Galaxy. The final version seems to have a slightly higher pitched and longer version in the final game. Here's everything that changed graphically. The airship is flying above the fields of grass by Princess Peach's castle instead of loads of clouds. Lots of camera movements are faster or slower. Many character animations are different, with some removing glitches like models clipping. Mario's cap is missing as Bowser has knocked it off. Princess Peach has had some subtle changes to her model, including different eyes, a different mouth, and a lighter pink dress. Her tiara is now the character called Tiara. Bowser's got a brand new haircut and his hat spins slightly faster in the newer version. The airship has a lot more details than before, with bouquets of piranha plants pinning up some purple draped curtains. The lighting is very different and is at a much higher quality. The carpet looks much more soft and way more detailed. The rug underneath Peach has visible tassels and a different pattern. In fact, almost every texture and model has been overhauled and looks much, much better. Finally, the model and textures for the exterior of the Odyssey are much more detailed in the final game than the version shown at E3. Thank you for watching this episode of the cut content of. We've got a brand new Discord server, you can check it out at the link below. You can support the show by pledging some money at patreon.com slash tcco, subscribing, sharing, turning on notifications, or just watching some of our other videos. If you'd like to, you can leave a suggestion for a future episode in the comments section below. But that's it for this episode. Bye!